Welcome back to the newest season of Pablo Balloon and Fine Love. Once again, you know, we are gonna be going over to see how the guys operate and how the girls operate. We have gotten one person so far who have come up. This seems to be the second person coming up. Let's see how they do. Remember, guys, remember, 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 you must go ahead and click on the like, click on that subscribe, and if you have something to say, Definitely go ahead and put it down there in the comments. But let's go, let's go, let's go. Pull up the balloon and find love with Arletta. All right, let's go ahead and bring out our next single lady. Hello, welcome in. I'll have you hold that. What's your name? My name is Crystal. Crystal, how old are you? I'm 39. And what do you do? I'm a senior level uh, medical coordinator. Very nice. Uh, what are some things I like to do for fun? Mm -hmm. Check that shape out. That's a shape, guys. That's a shape. Is that a real deal or is that a BB? Let's see. And let's see how the guys react to this young lady. Let's go. Um, for fun, I like to cook. Um, I love um, learning new recipes. I'm getting into outdoor cooking nice. and grilling. Um, I love spending time with family. Um, I love traveling and I love wine tasting. Okay. <laughs> now, what are some things you look for in a man? Um, in a man, I just need someone that's loyal, oh. um, good with communication, um, have a relationship with God, um, as well as big on family as well. Okay. Now, what are some of your deal breakers? My deal breaker is a man that don't have a relationship with God. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, I would say a man that's not good with communication, um, a man that smokes cigarettes, mm. and a man that has cats. Oh, okay. <laughs> Did she say cats? This one's kind of strange. I mean, I have never seen before where a young lady has something against cats. Cats are usually the lady's domain. However, she seems to be a dog person. But let's go. <laughs> All right, so we did get a few pops. Let's okay. go on over there, see why they ended up popping. Let's start here with your name and age. Uh, Hubert, uh, 37. Okay. And Hubert, why did you end up popping your balloon? Um, just initially coming around the corner, not physically attracted. Um, so I don't want to like waste her time or mine. So, okay. yep. Got it, got it. Now is Hubert someone that's your type? Yes, very well dressed and fit. Look like he's in fitness, so yeah. Cool. Thank you. Thank you. And then we did get one down over here. All right, let's start with your name and age. Name's Chad. I'm 38. Okay. And Chad, why did you end up popping your balloon? I have a fat cat at my house, so Aww. you're yeah. <laughs> not the cat. Yeah, so I know it's not gonna work for you. Okay, not a problem. Got it. Now, before she said that, you did have your balloon unpopped. Why so? I just wanted to hear a little more about her. She has a beautiful smile. I just wanted to see what the deal was, but she canceled me, so. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> or my cat, I should say. <laughs> now, is he someone that's your type? I know the you cat, but apart from that. Canceled, my yes, brother. Very. You've been canceled. You and your cat. We're going with a cat, young man. You should have a Rottweiler. 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 Is it a Rottweiler or a Rottweiler? Let's check it out. But go to the side with your cat. She don't want you. He well put together, clean cut. Seemed like he really into self-care. I love it. Okay. Mm -hmm. nice. Thank you. All right, let's head on back right here. We did get a pop. Let's get your name and age. I'm Johnny. I'm 38. Okay. And Johnny, why did you pop your balloon? I mean, I'm into like more taller female. Okay. I mean, she's gorgeous and she looked like she got a good spirit and whatnot. And yeah, I hope she found what she's looking for. <laughs> you feel me? Now, is Johnny someone that's your type? To be honest, though, she does look good. And, um, you know, I think someone should snag her, if you know what I mean. Um, I mean, I love his personality. He seemed very charming, so yeah. Okay. Indeed. Thank you. And we got another one right here. Let's start with your name and age. My name is Brian from D.C. I'm 38. Okay. And Brian, why did you pop your balloon? Just not really my type, you know what I mean, physically. Um, you know, um, 
on her teeth. She got a little lipstick on her teeth. My boy, my boy, come on, man, that's brutal. Damn, now she's not gonna smile for the rest of the episode. Are you trying to get in on this young lady or are you looking your menace of fame as well? Wow, bro. That and then I actually get to walk on the way and I see a little pedicure could be a little better on the bottom of her feet. But other than that, um, that's just it. Now and there goes the cameraman. He never misses anything. Uh, cameraman always ensures to get it. All let's go. My type. Okay, all right. Now, is uh Brian someone that you're oh, yeah, most definitely. He's um well put together as well. Um, seem like he's very ambitious and know what he's looking for. So, thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. And right here, let's start with your name and age. My name is Micah, and I'm 42. Okay. Micah, why did you pop your balloon? I popped my balloon just, just because of the, just the physical attraction wasn't there. Yeah, but you look really nice, though. Thank you. Yeah. All right. Now, is Micah someone that's your type? Oh, my God. They all are nice. Oh. <laughs> um, I would say he's very well put together. Mm -hmm. You guys really put it together tonight, and um, self-care is a plus. So, yeah, I like the trim. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> and one more down over here. Your name and age and why you ended up popping your balloon. Uh, my name is La. I'm 40. Um... You have a beautiful smile. Thank you. But I don't think the aura like did it for me. Like, and bring it in. And also, you said a man of God. I'm not an atheist or nothing, but mm -hmm. you know, I'm not in church every Sunday or you know. So that's pretty much it. I don't want to disappoint you on Sunday. <laughs> well, <laughs> when it comes to that, I said a man that has God involved in his life. Not saying you have to go to church every Sunday, but I, I understand. So. Yeah. Sometimes we have to understand when communicating how what we see can come off a part can come off a particular way. Because if you say you want someone who has a relationship with God, most people are gonna come out of that interaction thinking this person is expected to be a church goer or someone who has an intimate or a closer bond with a church family. You know, most times people won't take it as I'm spiritual, I am generally, I believe in God and that's it. Most people take it as someone who is active in church, someone who goes to church on Sunday. So sometimes a little bit of added details, for example, someone who believes in God. Let's just say if you had if she had said she wants someone who believes in a higher power, then you know people would be more accepting of the term. Yeah. Okay. We did give one more down over okay. here. We hung on to the last minute. <laughs> All right, your name and age and why you ended up popping your balloon. Danny, I'm thirty eight. It's just uh She's very beautiful, very beautiful, very well put together, very nice smile. It's just the distance. Where you say you was from? I'm in Houston. Yeah, I'm not about to travel all the way out like that. Where are you? Atlanta. Oh, okay. I love Atlanta. I go there often, but okay. You know, be cool. All yeah. Right. So now, is he someone that's your type? Yes. Cool, smooth daddy. <laughs> <laughs> she wants him. He's that guy. Come on, my brother. What you doing? What you doing? I love um, the boots and the belt. Seem like he can get on the grill with me, but okay. All right, let's head on back. <laughs> all right, so that is all of the balloons popped, unfortunately, but we do thank you for coming on. Let's go ahead and give it up for her, guys. Thank you. Thank you.